adjustments that we'd see change the most throughout a weekend in a TCR car, well, where to start? There's, there's, no, there's no particular one in our case. It really is tyre dependent. This season's been very different to, to previous seasons with the tyre allocations and whatnot, but I think we'd be finding ourselves certainly running through all the roll centres up, down, round and round. And um, yeah, in toes, they're, they're, they're kind of most certainly the, the, the go-tos for the weekend. The shock absorbers have a lot of adjustment. They have uh, anti-roll bars and they have bitumen sizes and, and we can adjust those in, in very fine increments. Uh, the height, although we have a limited height, our lot height is 90 mil, so we can't go below that. But you can move it around and you can adjust the spring platform to balance the car. Turbo's whistling as they hit the downshift and work cutting, they climb through the shelf. You can adjust springs, dampers, roll bars, ride heights, um, diff settings, uh, yeah. So there's a fair bit of area to play. Um, we tend to obviously play a lot with ride heights and roll bars and things like that. I'd say ride heights are always, the, any race car, ride heights and the first thing to go to. Spring rates a little bit depending on the track. It, it all comes down to maximising the, the rubber on the road. So the type of track, how smooth the track is, will influence some of the finer tuning items. And then the nature of the corners, whether they're short, sharp corners or long, loaded radius corners. Well, TCR cars tend to push most of the time, so um, Generally add a bit of rake, soften up the front bar, soften up the rear, things like that. If the car's loose, it's sort of you almost need a, a loose car in TCR because of the front wheel drive. So you can't steer from the throttle. So you almost need it to be quite edgy and, and when we say loose, that's an American thing, you know, oversteer. So the rear of the car wants to keep rotating around the front so the front keeps turning in too tight. And you, you're sort of looking for that balance a bit, in, especially in qualifying because it makes the car turn and get to the corner quickly. And then as soon as the car's turn, gets to the corner, you can get on the throttle. So to make it that way, you, you want to take away a bit of a grip normally from the rear. So that could be, you know, tightening the rear anti-roll bar, stiffer rear spring, uh, a lot of rake, you know, raising the rear of the car. If the car's pushing or it's loose, the first question starts with asking Tony, how much is the car trying to kill him? Which is how he refers to it with myself, you know. Working within that balancing act is to how far and, and how much or how little we try to change. And that, that's generally based around, again, the roll centres and the rear toes, etc. Look at the Magan menacing Dylan O'Keefe. It's a four car scrap for the podium position here. The key things was getting the car balanced and balanced to the driver the way they feel. You know, we have camber changes, caster changes we can make. So there's a lot of adjustment you can do. And it's a matter of just getting the car to a point where the driver feels comfortable in it. You can make it fast for one or two laps. Anybody can drive it like that, but then it loses its tires or whatever. The best is the balanced car with the driver feeling comfortable and he can then use that car for the whole race instead of just for part of the race.